Well, good morning, um, Hall of Fame board, trustees, uh, inductees, family members, and friends. I want to take some time out to help us all celebrate the life of Carl Adams. And as I was thinking about this, I was told I only had five minutes to speak about Carl Adams. He just told you he was a Renaissance man. He was an inventor. <laughs> he was an author. He was a great wrestler. So many things, but only five minutes. And you were his teammate. But that still hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try to, um, I was told you, know, you should be brief, be funny, and then be gone. So I'm going to try to stick to that today. I am proud to call the call call my friend. Call believe that you should thank it, believe it, and do it. He has done that with his life. He has done that with his sport. And he has done that with his inventions. I want to think back and kind of figure out where all of this came from. And I was thinking about wrestling. Carl was a wrestler. Wrestling has three periods. Well, I want to look at his life in three periods. In that first period, his takedowns. But when was that period? That period when Carl was in college was the 1960s. What was America like in the 1960s? Well, I guess we can still call it the period of takedowns. Because a lot of things were taken down to create a better country. And what better person to honor than then call Adams by his character. You remember him from wrestling? You remember from his inventions. You remember from his books. But that's all for everyone. What do you really want to remember? You want to remember his character. And that's what I think he pulled from that time period. Character. Think about that. Character. believe it and achieve it and I think that's what he did and he did it well your focus determines your reality what is your focus call as a coach always focus on what was right what was right in front of you and he got the wrestlers to focus what was right in front of him. Carl was a, he was a great coach. He's a great mentor. He's a great family man. And a horrible driver to follow. So I, I want to tell you, following behind Carl as we ran across the country, going to our meets, I'm thinking, Carl, I don't think you're going to make it. That light, I know it's going to turn yellow. And it turned yellow. And, but Carl was already through. I mean, focus, right? He's focused. And we're behind him, but we have to stop. Carl's going. I don't know where we're going. We didn't have ways. We didn't have cell phones. But he's going. He's on the highway. I'm like, no, which direction? What turn? And, and these are the stories that, that the kids remember. These are the stories that you never forget. These rides across the, the country, that booming laughter. Uh, we stop, guys are starving can't eat, have to make weight. Call drinking his Diet Coke. That was his favorite. So this, this image that we have of Carl, this is where it came from. 
This is that first part, that first period, the takedown. What was that society like during that time? He moved on. He stayed focused. Straight ahead. Straight ahead to Rhode Island College after he left Iowa State. I don't need to go over all the accomplishments. You heard that last night. But when he went to Rhode Island, he did a fantastic job. And they dropped the program. That seems to be a theme now. That didn't stop Carl. Focus. He came to be you. That's the Harvard on the other side of the river. At BU, Carl turned the program into a success right away. As I think about Boston University, you may not know this, but when you think about Boston University, you think about hockey. Carl got him to think about wrestling. Or wrestling was something they were proud of. And it wasn't the wins, it wasn't just the wins or losses. It was the most important thing. It was the character that he displayed. It was the character that he built in each and every one of those wrestlers. Graduate. Be a good person. Move forward. Thank it, believe it, make it happen. And that's what he did. He didn't find satisfaction in the comfort zone. He pushed him beyond the comfort zone. He also believed that you can't change someone who doesn't see a problem with their actions. And so he led by example. He often believed that if you know your opponent and you know yourself, you need not fear the outcome. Work harder and let the chips fall where they may. I want you to think about the second period now. You're already in overtime. I'm overtime? Yeah. You're, you're, you're way in overtime. I'm overtime. No. And he might have been my oh. teammate, and I'd give him an extra. Oh, no, but you know what? by that. OK. Well, you know, I'm sorry. I forgot to start my clock. <laughs> that was a long one page. Well, uh, I, will, I will end it. Um, I will end it on this note that I want you to remember it as a three, two, one. Three things that you can take away from it. That it was character. It was staying focused. And it's to be honorable. Call did all of that and more. And I thank you. My dad's been in my Hall of Fame for a whole, like he's been in my Hall of Fame for my whole life. But the best move that he's ever done is marry my beautiful mom, Linda Burks Adams. Uh, you know, she's my dog, she's my road dog. My, my dad is my road dog also, you know what I'm saying? We all stick together, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, she's in my Hall of Fame and also my sister Pam and my sister Nicole, Women Hall of Fame. Our close fourth is Oprah Winfrey. Our close fifth is Condoleezza Rice. So that's my... All right, cool. Um, going back to my dad, he's the hardest worker I've ever known. I got to put this up a little bit. I'm not a wrestler. But um, um, the hard, one of the hardest workers I've ever known, uh, the most consistent person I've ever known. And just like as Steve said, he's focused. He always knew what he wanted to do, and nothing can stop him from his drive, from his goal. And it's just been incredible just to see as a son. Um, and all those attributes that he had, you know, the hard work or the consistency, it wasn't necessarily for himself. Like, I know that, you know, he wanted to brand it, his name on it. He, like, you know that he wanted to ha have his stamp on what he wanted to do, but it was very selflessless. It was not for him. It was for 
everybody involved that had some type of thing that he touched in his life. Um, for example, I can tell you this, and a lot of people know, my dad had the same gray silver flip phone, flip phone for like 15 years. Now, I know that, you know, especially like younger generations, we go through phones, I don't know, like what, twice a year? Imagine I have the same phone for 15. It start, stops working, but he still used it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I, like I said, me, everybody in my family, we already had the newest bells and whistles. We were, you know, he provided for us like, like no other. And this could be like an incredible, like great dad story for he's, he's a hard worker, he does all this. But more of anything, it wasn't just for us. It was for everybody that was involved in his life. Um, I also noticed very, something very special about him. I asked him what his core values were because I was trying to find mine in a spot where, you know, I was bouncing around through teams and everything else like that, trying to find direction. And, you know, through hard work, what he said, what he said hard work, um, always getting the job done. He also said, treat others how you want to be treated. And as you go through it, as a core value, you know, that's, that, you know, that's not really said a lot these days. I don't know, maybe it is, I don't hear that a lot, but when I heard it, it really touched me. And I realized I was like, man, like, I could tell that everything he does is not only for himself, it's genuinely for other people because it's a core value. As it going on, he treated us more of anything, just like, well, he treated his wrestlers, everybody he was involved with, his wrestlers, his assistant coaches, um, his camp people, the people that watch his videos on YouTube, his hundreds of videos. By the way, check him out, carladams.com. No. <laughs> no, but he, he, what he wanted to do is he wanted to provide that same type of uh, knowledge, nurture, and, and, and uh, guidance to the same thing for his kids, for everybody he was involved with in his life, which is incredible. And you could tell it was very genuine because that was his core value, treat everybody how you want to be treated. He told me stories when he was growing up was growing up and he was in high school, his coach, his high school coach took him across the country to go to, to go to different places. And I know that his coach and not only his family, but they didn't steal that in him. Not only, all, not only hard work, not only that type of drive, the passion, it's more of treat people how you want to be treated. That's huge because in this world, it's, it, it's really tough in a lot of circumstances, in a lot of ways. So um, a lot of that has is, is been incredible. It, it's been great to look at uh, for a role model. Um, uh, now, I know I said that he provided us everything. He provided his wrestlers everything we got, but I don't know if he bought him phones, bought them phones or anything else like that. But um, he provided the knowledge of wrestling uh, in life to help your child, to be, help you and your child be the best they could be in life. So, and it was just so selfless, it wasn't for him. Uh, and going to his equipment, I don't know if you've heard about his equipment. I know you guys probably heard about it last night, but that thing is layered. That thing has a lot of steps to it. I've been in the shop, and I can't say too much, you know, copyright infringement, I can't say too much about it. But um, he puts a lot of work into it, you know, for his name, but at the same point in time, he wanted to make sure that you, your son, your brother, your daughter, gets the best product they can get so that you can get better, so you can do what you need to do in order for you to be the best that you can be, which is awesome, because a lot of things that you get nowadays, I don't know where they come from, but they come a little janky. You know what I'm saying? They don't, you know, they might break a little bit after a couple of years. A lot of things that he makes, they never come back. They never come back. There's no complaints. And I've never heard of that before. And he makes, I don't know, how much you make that? Like a year? A lot. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I'm so proud of you, Dad. I, you know, a lot of things that I've, that I've done in my life have come from what you've instilled in me. Um, one main thing that's trademarked from you, you, you should trademark it, put it somewhere, put it on a billboard or something. It hurts to win. And uh, I was in Miami yesterday, and uh, we were just practicing, and that Miami, that Miami heat hurts. <laughs> that Miami heat hurts. And like, <laughs> but those comments, those words, it hurts to win. You think about them, and you think about all the adversity you go through, through life, and you know that there's certain things that you have to do, that you have to go through in order for you to get what you want at the end of it. And sometimes it's, it's trophies, sometimes it's rings, sometimes it's success. And that phrase, that comment that he instilled in us, and not only in us, his wrestlers, everybody involved in him, has helped everybody along the way for them to be the best that they can be successfully. 
but again, I thank God for the blessings you bestowed upon, uh, like all the blessings that he bestowed upon us and our family. Thank you, Dad, for everything you've done in my life. It's been, uh, it's, it's, it's been really dope just to be a part of this beautiful family. Look at that table, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, everybody looks good. But hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just been awesome and it's just been incredible. I thank God every day for you guys, for Dad. Thank you, Dad, for everything. I, I'm so proud of you and I love you. Uh, and thank you for having me.